Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today it's on Block Locker. Now this is a really awesome plugin, very similar to Lockit, and it allows you to lock doors, chests, and pretty much any other block you want. So there's lots of different things you can do. You can add people to your lock so they can get inside, and you can add timers to doors as well. So first of all, let's look at this chest. I've added myself and another player, and it allows me to open it, which is really awesome. Next, we have a chest owned by someone called Dave, and as I'm an admin, I can bypass the protection. So you can give permissions to allow people to do this, but if you want to create a chest of your own that's locked, all you need to do is place down the chest, and then right click with a sign, and that will automatically stick the text on and protect it for yourself. If you want to edit it, you right click it again, and then type forward slash block locker, select the line number, and change the name. You can then do that again for the next few lines and add more of your friends so they can get in the chest as well. So you can also replace yourself if you've created it and now name two, three and four instead of me will be able to get in the chest. But as I'm admin, I can still get inside. Then the next feature of the plugin is doors. So we have two different doors here. The first one is a normal door. It's privated to myself so I can get in and out. And the cool thing about the second door, it has a timer of two seconds. It will close automatically. This is very useful as I'm always forgetting to shut doors and you don't want people following you into your base or house or whatever. The way you do that is you create a building or whatever and make sure there's a door frame. Uh, once you've done that, I like to put the sign up at the top. You just put down the sign, put brackets private at the top. It will automatically fill in your name when you click done and then right click it and then you will be able to add the timer. So make sure you select line three and then you can do brackets, timer, colon, and then an amount of time in seconds. So let's go with one, and then close brackets, square brackets. And if we open it, it will close immediately, and keep opening, it will close. Uh, so one second is probably the best amount of time uh, you would want to choose. So that's really cool. The next feature is the forward slash block locker reload. If you change something in the config file, which we're going to look at, you can do that. And finally, you can add different groups using the permissions. So if you choose someone's uh, group, such as all donators, they could get special permission and they could all get in a specific chest. And the way you do that, you set the permission and then you put the group name at the end of the permission and then you put it in square brackets on the sign. Very straightforward. Uh, so that's how you do that. Uh, that's pretty much everything in game. Obviously there's loads more blocks that you can protect, which we'll see in the config file. So let's go look at that now. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel. And as you can see, there are two different files. There is the translations.en. And if we go in here, this is all of the text that you'll see in game uh, with different color codes and everything. You don't really need to mess around with this, but obviously you can create a new uh, file with a different language. Um, you can change any of the format codes if you want, but it's pretty unnecessary. So let's go into the main config.yml and in here you will see a list of all things that can be protected. Uh, so there we go up at the top, you can change the language file if you really want to. Uh, but here are all the protectable containers from doors to anvils, beacons, shulker boxes, all of that good stuff. Uh, there's some doors down here. You can turn connected containers on or off whether you want that to require one or two signs. And then down at the bottom, you can change the default door open uh, time. So by default, it's zero, which means they stay open forever and won't close automatically. Uh, but also you could change that um, to make sure they do close automatically. And whether you want it to auto expire. So if a player doesn't come on for a month, maybe all of their stuff expires and people can get in their chests. And finally, whether you want it to be destroyed by creepers, endermen, gas, that sort of thing. Um, so there's not too much in here, but you can customize a few things. Uh, and it's a really cool plugin. So if you want to download it below, there'll be a link. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. Uh, but that's it for me for this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.